This is our water uh, fountain that we have to use. And um, they, they come every other week and we have to lug it down in the basement. And um, they also bring individual bottles as well. This is provided by the responsible party and Johnson Tyco Control. The canine gets bottled water as well. Really? Yeah. This area is so remarkable. The scenery is incredible. We have this enormous amount of water, natural resources. It's absolutely beautiful. But the people here are really, really warm. They're really friendly, they're hardworking. And it's a great place to raise a family, to feel safe. And it's something to be really treasured and valued. We used to have unencumbered joy by what we get to look at every day. And for six years, it's just been a, a complete nightmare. Everything you see is contaminated. Groundwater is contaminated and the wells are contaminated. Marinette it is such a beautiful place, but it's kind of like the silent killer, right? I mean, it looks so beautiful that you wouldn't believe that the level of contamination here is one of the highest in the country for this type of contamination. There is no one alive today in the city of Marinette or in the town of Peshtigo who will live long enough to see the end of PFAS in our community. It's simply here for our lifetimes and maybe our children's lifetimes until such technology comes along that can destroy it. When I first learned about some of the literal consequences of it, it was terrifying. You know, one of them is thyroid disease. I had my thyroid completely removed in my late 30s. A less talked about one is tear duct development. Our son Christian has that. So you start being like, wow, that's incredible. And you really, then you start thinking about your neighbors and how many of them had the prostate issues, you know, which is obviously another common occurrence, you just go down the list and it starts to make you sick to your stomach. What's happening in Marinette and Peshtigo is truly heartbreaking. Every one of us needs clean water to drink and clean air to breathe. It really is as simple as that. We know thousands across the state are currently affected by PFAS contaminated drinking water. However, we do not yet know how many thousands more may be consuming contaminated water through no fault of their own. No one can stand up to polluters alone. Whether it's water contamination or air pollution, communities are too often up against very powerful companies and interest groups. So winning these battles can take years. Years of fighting just to have what so many of us take for granted every day. I am continually shocked by the lack of representation um, by our state representatives, the very clear alignment with industry over the communities that they have been elected to represent is unconscionable. Any type of legislation going forward, there should not be any carve outs for any different industries or whoever may be the most powerful at lobbying or whatnot. My house is totally depreciated. In order to sell a house anywhere, you have to have a disclosure. So you have to tell them, hey, my water, my land here is contaminated with the PFAS. You know, I built this house myself. Why should I have to lose everything I worked all my life for to let a corporation make billions of dollars of profit off of my back? 
Unfortunately, pollution touches every Wisconsin community in some way. Whether it's water that's contaminated with PFAS, nitrates, or pathogens, or air that's polluted with ozone, nitrogen dioxide, and particulate matter. There is no question that as a society, we are bearing the costs and harms of this pollution every single day. Our health is at stake. The health of our children is at stake. Clean Wisconsin has been working for decades to take on powerful polluters at every level. In the Capitol, the courtroom, and with partners all across the state. We won't quit for even a second because what we are protecting is too important. No one should have to wake up one day and find out that the water they've been drinking, the water that they've been giving their child to drink, has been contaminated from an industrial source. That's not Wisconsin. That's not what we believe in. Everyone has a right to safe drinking water, clean air, and a healthy environment. That's what we believe in. Caring for our friends and neighbors, protecting each other, and the special place we call home. That is Wisconsin, and it is so worth fighting for.